Contrary to popular belief, there are other people on the stylish. <laughs> Mark Montana. Ever watch this hobby show? It's good. You can learn to make crafts. I made a bong! You can make a bong out of anything. <laughs> this is Willem and you're watching Willem's Beat Down. You're not doing that right. <laughs> I watch videos and I'm gonna teach you how to be better through the faults of others. She's beyond help. You're not doing that right. I'm not doing that right. <laughs> Down. I hope you don't have celiacs. I'm just kidding. It's Willem's beatdown, goddammit. These are my hooker pumps. Let's get to beating. Ooh, we got white girl problems. Itty bitty titty problems. Small booby problems. This has 27,000 views, and this user, Rubenesque3, has 50,000 subscribers. Let's watch and see why her teats are so tiny. So first of all, if you have no boobs, you're not alone. You're gonna be alone. Yeah, you know, that's that's all padding. Don't kid yourself. I ain't fooling anybody. Why do you even buy a bra then? Who cares? Well, if you need support, children are gonna starve. I'm 23 and I'm a double A, so I feel like I have a right to kind of rant a little bit. You do, but it doesn't make you any less bitter looking. There's things you can do, illegal silicone injections, back market pumping, suicide. Leave your boob problems in the comments down below. Sometimes when I put my breasts in the dishwasher, there's light spotting and streaking. I can wear two bras and it makes it look like there's something going on up there. Her breasts are why blowjobs were invented. I wonder how many dick jokes I make per episode. You know, I'm up there in like the front row, like fist pumping my ass off and my bra is like slowly falling down. Nope, I'm cool. These are my breasts. the conclusion that I'm okay with having small boobs. Girl, start stripping, buy some titties. You're gonna have to do some day shifts and some lunchtime shifts, but that's how all the girls start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of random, but it was requested. I'm gonna request you never speak again. How about that? Make a video about that, dummy. <laughs> this is Kenya Parker Johnson. She has a million views on this video about poo na na na. It's stinky, stinky, stinky and 1,900 subscribers. Something's not equaling. She's done one video. And it's about stank pussy. Someone done left that cat out in the rank. And it smells. I am tired, 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 tired. Girl, you've been hooked on the creamy crack for so long. Your hair's straight, but it don't move. This is movement. Do you relax your pussy hair? Going into public freaking bathrooms. McDonald's, Burger King. The White Castle bathroom is pristine. Lord have mercy on some of these women. See, women is already pluralized. I ain't got nobody's room to be talking about grammar. Never mind, sorry girl. As you were saying, women. Does anybody know the meaning of personal hygiene? Pussy hygiene, pussy good. Clean that pussy just like you should. Never mind, this song's going nowhere. Y'all have got to keep the punani Smelling fresh. This is not what Sojourner Truth fought for. This is not what Susan B. Anthony marched for. This is not what Harry B. Tubman had that nice subway for or whatever. And you don't use the same washcloth you use on your face, on your ass. I don't even put a washcloth on my face at all. This bitch is running a filibuster on washcloths. They have different forms of things to make your body smell fresh. If she pulls out a fire hydrant, I am leaving. Just like you got deodorant for your underarm, you got deodorant for the pussy. Guys, let me know if I have discharge. If you feel an itch, if you feel anything, y'all have got to run to the hospital. It's been given the A-OK -okay by dermatologists and gynecologists, and it's safe to use to polish wood. So spray on and enjoy. Oh God, that was a bad idea. Oh, oh. It's still getting musty down here. Maybe her um, Cavarici jeans are cut a little too high. And she brewing beer. What else we got to clean that gash? Vinegar? Are we making a stew? Spread an asshole too, after you wash that bitch. Oh, what is this? Gently insert nozzle into your clam pot. Emptying contents into your, what is that? Cunt. And I'm just telling you the truth, okay? Cause I'm a woman and I'm gonna keep it real. I feel like I can get a sponsorship. 
or at least make a bomb. We are gonna go from that stinky girl gash to this faggy twink stash. With what style is to nickel? He has 90,000 subscribers and 25,000 views on this video which is hashtag your boyfriend does your makeup. This is the real modern family. Hey guys, so today I'm here with my boyfriend Jonas. Okay, so the redhead is obviously the top here. No? I'm gonna take my makeup off and then he's gonna do it. Okay. So I found out the secret of Nim. Nim is a fucking redhead and mole. Redheads will die out by 2050. They're a recessive gene. So get them while you can and keep them under glass. They're abominations. I'm gonna start with Miracle Skin Perfector. I feel like if I went like that on his neck, his hair could pop off. You kind of look like Tilda Swinton and maybe Kate Blanchett had a baby with Chucky. I'm gonna start on your cheeks. Yeah, but can you not get it in my hair? I say the same thing every night. Put way too much on. Well, He's talking about your weight. See, I can make fun of fat guys, but not fat ladies, because they kill themselves. Do you like your painting a window or something? Can you do my forehead? I really don't like him sitting this close and putting his arm around him. What kind of molester makeup job? It's like a Nambla makeover. We're gonna come under here. It's called contouring. Baby, you clown torn right now. I love that you act like you know what you're talking about, but you don't, boo boo. And it looks like the lights are always coming down from the top. He could be in the motherfucking Superdome with a Bic lighter and he'd still look like shit after you got done with him. What did you do to little orphan tranny? I bet you go out with him and people are like, that's a shame. Your son should really have a jacket. We're gonna move into a bit of lip tar. Lip tar, OCC. I'm wearing it now. And so are a few penises. And the beauty of lip tar is that you can use it almost anywhere. You can use it as lube even if you want. Your partner will look like a battle wound after, but you take the good, you take the bad. Now be very careful, Richard, as to what you do here. You are going to kill me. I love it. This little British boy is over in America. This dude's got his green card. You're not going home ever. You're gonna be in a basement. I'm going for subtle. Elegantly understated. This is what Lindsay Lohan looks like without her weave. <laughs> Done with the redheaded stepchild, with the wing girls, we gonna get wild. What to do after sex with your lover or your warden? They have 1.8 million views, which I am very jealous of, and 100,000 subscribers or something. Let's watch what to do after. All right, so the first tip is cuddle. I already did that under your balls, remember? Even if it's like a one night stand situation. Ugh. Don't tell me to lick your balls if you're just gonna tap, tap, tap your dick on my forehead right after. They wanna like find the little nook in your body and like snuggle up in there. I don't want your hot jizz breath on my neck. Get out. Say something about the act itself. They wanna know that you liked it. That you're on the pill. Girls want feedback as much as guys do. Wow, titty fucking an A cup is like ice skating in the grass. Wow, I love your clitoris, it's really nice. God damn, your clit was like Ebenezer Scrooge's door knocker. Weighty and noble and haunted. And she's gonna wanna do it again. And then she'll get out so you can get some Tostito scoopables, which is what you wanted anyway, because pussies don't hold salsa right. Whatever. Yeah. Pancake. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't paying attention. Pancake, was she talking about her titties? <laughs> get on that train. <laughs> you don't get on the train, you pull the train. And that's how you have a Super Bowl party. That makes us feel more comfortable. This one wants to feel comfortable during sex. Bitch, you ain't a beanbag chair. Feeling hot equals feeling sexy. So put a blow dryer in her pussy. That's slightly masochistic. <laughs> on the cool setting. Love you. Bye. Bye. Back from the heavens themselves, they've come down. The wing girls. <laughs> come here. Woo! Michelle Visage. I like your earrings. I like yours. You could be a third wing girl. Let me see. I better tell you what's that? not Those gonna happen. Earrings. <laughs> we actually have some personalized tips for you after sex, Willem. Do you? Like what, clean off the produce before you make the salad? <laughs> yes, number she, one. She doesn't know what you're saying, yeah. but I do. I oh, speak God, drag girl. queen. I feel like I should be over on that You side. got, oh, so you're saying you have right. STDs? Let's switch. You go in the middle. So, <laughs> did guys really leave you? Um, oh, after sex. You mean, well, I you feel like that's happened to every girl, and I'm surprised it hasn't happened to you. I well. swallow, they don't leave. <laughs> so how did you come up with the name The Wing Girls? We're like every man's wing man, you know, like we go out and help people find dates. But how do you do that from the sky? <laughs> <laughs> we make it happen. So how do you girls feel about fisting? How does that actually happen? 
Ow! Shut up! <laughs> I'll buy you something. Oh. oh <laughs> now quack! Ew! Oh, don't awesome. Well, you have to! You don't want to take this dry. <laughs> this is not what we signed no. up for, Well, um, Come on, Jet, we're out of here. Ew, your hands all sweat. I know. Everybody, let's say big thank you to the Wing Girls. If you're on their channel, unsubscribe and subscribe to mine on the stylish. I'm flying above the clouds. Subscribe, goddammit. <laughs> no! Stop! Pick her up. I don't have I panties on. Her up. Ha! Ha! Shut up! I will kill everyone! <laughs>